Coming up on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show. I was only asking questions. And you really did hurt my feelings. Don't call me a liar. I am sorry that it gave her additional stress. Can we give a little forgiving? No. Oh, OK. I guess I shouldn't have brought that up. Tom's brother asked the court to give him the authority to place Tom in a facility that treats neurocognitive disorders such as dementia. And to have this house of cards come crumbling down, it's crazy. I'm dealing with some foot issues right now in my life. <laughs> She's got a statue fell on her leg at your house. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not gonna sue Kathy or anything, but how does a statue? <laughs> Of course I am. It can be hooked up anywhere in the country, any anywhere in the world. I'm gonna have to bring Doogie with me so she could plug the van. <laughs> Your Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after show starts now. Sutton, you and Erica have another conversation at dinner where you try to make peace. I did call a meeting, if you will without Erica, because I was in a nervous place. But I'm not going to apologize for it because I was only asking questions. I'm not sorry for what I did, you know, with that group of women. I'm not sorry for what I said. I'm not sorry for the questions that I asked, but I am sorry that it gave her additional stress because I could see it on her face. Because I am sorry that obviously my bringing the girls together and doing all this gave her so much stress that she felt the need to attack me. You ever call me a liar again? I'm coming for you. And I noticed that and I thought about it and you know, I think on things. I think on things a lot. I'm a very contemplative person. I seek out opinions from People that, you know, I really highly respect. That's zero okay. Mm -mm. Okay, but you can't walk off like that. Why can't I? I thought I have really maybe put this woman in undue stress and I, and I don't want to live with that. At this dinner, Kathy opened the floor up to Erica to respond and well. Can we give a little forgiving because I think that she chose the wrong word because I don't think she would really call somebody a liar. No. I was trying to open the door. And honestly, I thought I'm opening the door, I'm hosting this dinner and I'm gonna put you on the spot and I'm giving you the reins to the horse. Like, will you find it in your heart to forgive? And so when she said no, I was kind of like, oh, okay. All right, I'm not giving this any more energy because it doesn't really need it. This is dumb. I guess I shouldn't have brought that up. I think at this point, Erica was feeling frustrated having to talk about this so much. And you know- She's tired out. Your friends, yes, you know, you know, you're reading about it online. You're, you know, people are making comments on your Instagram and then she's with us and you know, we're talking about it. You get to a point where, you know, yeah, I don't, it seems like she's talking I'm about it. I'm even getting to that point. Me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy doesn't want to talk about it anymore either. I'm like, I've had it. While in Del Mar, Erica shares some more news about what's going on with Tom. Yesterday was the hearing for Tom's conservatorship so that his brother could take over his affairs. Tom's brother asked the court to give him the authority to place Tom in a facility that treats neurocognitive disorders such as dementia. Like, I don't want to have a- a home? What were your thoughts on hearing this news of his conservatorship? It's a big responsibility. Well, yeah, but also it's like, here was this man. You know, Erica was married to Tom all these years to this powerful guy who she admired and looked up to. And to have this house of cards come crumbling down. Erica Girardi's husband and his law firm were placed in civil contempt of court on Monday. Wait, what? What, 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 what is happening? Is Tom in the hospital? What does it say? Right. And to think that now who he was 
who she thought he was and who she knew, who she married. And now to be having these conversations, mm. you know, that she's had to leave their home. He's, you know, now going to have his brother overseeing everything for him because he's not all there right now. And, you know, whatever he's going through, whether it was, you know, Alzheimer's or, you know, whatever it is that he has. Because I think that at that time we didn't exactly know. I think more stuff has come out now, but it's crazy. I mean, to think that everything is just sort of like crumbled around them. Kathy, we need to talk about your favorite travel accessory. Are you bringing your fan? Of course I am. Kathy travels everywhere with that fan. Everywhere. That fan goes wherever Kathy goes. It gets wrapped in plastic and put in a suitcase. It can be hooked up anywhere in the country, any, anywhere in the world. I have all these different little... Like the European outlets and all that. Exactly. I'm going to have to bring Doogie with me so she <laughs> could plug the fan in. fan won't plug in. The plan, what? The foot, the fan. The fan won't plug in. Will not plug. The fan plugs in, you said to actually put it in the outlet. <laughs> Where is the furthest you've ever taken that fan? Oh, let's see. That one, that goes with me to New York. I have a smaller one that I've taken to London and uh, when I go to Europe. I basically have them now wherever I go and hotels have them for us. So that was the U.S. fan. That's the U.S. fan, exactly. Like Las Vegas, like places that we go, they already know. They have the pillows and the van ready, but I still bring my pillows. You don't necessarily start off the Del Mar trip on the right foot. Oh, God. I just talked to uh, my doctor. I'm dealing with some foot issues right now in my life. Okay, let me see your foot. Oh, Here's it's black and blue. Could that be broken? I, I don't even know what's going on with her legs. I feel like she always has a boot on. <laughs> I feel like the boot has been on for two years. I do too. I mean, she said that, I don't know, she did something where her feet were hurting. Then I think something, a, a statue fell on her leg at your house and then <laughs> she fell. <laughs> a statue. <laughs> she said a statue fell on her leg at your house. Well, I mean, I'm not going to sue Kathy or anything, but I was at her house at a dinner and a piece of art fell on my leg. I, I did hear about that. I think somebody <laughs> knocked over the statue on her, but she was dancing and singing. I was in the other room. Kathy, why do you have a huge statue on such a wobbly table? And when I did that, I, I must have tweaked my ankle. And by the time I got to Del Mar, it was really big and I could not walk on it. She showed up with that boot and uh, it's not a really good match with the couture dresses. <laughs> so Kathy, you decide to hold your first girls trip in Del Mar. Beautiful. We're moving in. Gorgeous. Is there a closet in here? I got my room. Kyle, there's not a closet, I don't think. I'm unpacking. I've always loved Del Mar and I just thought it would be good to go down and they have a spa there and the wine tasting. It just sounded like somewhere close by, not too far of a drive and Is that your beautiful. Dog? Yes. Bunny, be quiet. <laughs> I thought fun. I had my new car. I was ready to go for a drive. I was looking forward to it. I thought it was going to be fun. Yeah, I like Del Mar. I like the beach, so I'm good. I, you know, I just like it that it wasn't the mountains. This helps me because I feel so uncomfortable. I don't like the mountains. <laughs> Although Del Mar was gorgeous, we heard the trip down was a little chaotic for you. Ugh. Kyle, I need to find that purse. Ugh, this is so annoying. You didn't walk in with a purse for sure? No, no, it's that gray with the KH. But you don't have a phone or anything? No. My fingers were sore for a week gripping on to that driving wheel. She was wheel. so stressed, she was holding it like this. She's like, everything hurts from holding the steering wheel so tight. <laughs> we had the whole trying to download the app, ways for directions, and then it was like, okay, just follow me, don't lose me. And then Dorit was behind Kathy, I was in front of Kathy, and then we had to stop at McDonald's. 
you know, the huge. <laughs> oh, that's right. The huge. The huge. So once you get to Del Mar, some of the ladies go connect with nature. Ugh, awful. What's happening? <laughs> now, we witnessing some intimacy. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 Not sorry I missed that one, though. Seals aside, how was the picnic? <laughs> oh, my God. I, that was so smelly. <laughs> I came out of the car and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I thought, yeah. oh my God, this is so bad. And then being on the beach, you know, you try to like get past the smell. Other than that, it was really, really sweet to see this picnic on the beach with these little box lunches. Actually, it was really yummy. Yeah, it was really beautiful and delicious. Yeah. So yeah, other than the foul smell, it was really sweet and charming. I mean, you're making the best out of, a, you know. It was really horrific. Here's the good thing for me is ever since I had COVID, I don't smell that well and it's not come back 100% yet. So everybody was dying and I knew it smelled pretty bad if I could smell it, but I don't smell things as intense as everyone else. Still. Wow. Yeah, that was not our most glamorous setting. <laughs> Kathy, you have a unique activity planned in Del Mar, taking all the ladies to a sound bath. And then they do the drum. And the music over your stomach. And you completely melt. I feel like in those situations, like yoga, meditating, a sound bath, when I'm with my friends, it's just not the same. I always find myself wanting to laugh or... Looking I, over I, at them? I can't keep my eyes closed the whole time. But meanwhile, I, I meditate. I, I was meditating this morning by myself, 20 minutes. But when I'm with a group, I don't know why I can't take it as seriously. And I'm always thinking, what's going on? Am I gonna miss something? What's everybody doing? Is everybody really closing their eyes? Are they really focusing? I'm not. <laughs> See, I felt completely different. I looked around oh, you to did? check on that, because I, I know what you're saying. And everybody's, especially with some of the tension going on, and I looked around and I felt like everybody was taking it in and enjoying it. This is one of those things you think something's gonna happen, and really, absolutely nothing is happening. I liked it. I liked it too, I've done it before. I didn't feel anything this time. I think maybe because we were all outside instead of being, I've only done it inside, but because of COVID we were outside, so it didn't touch me as much as it would have, but it was nice for the quiet. Yeah, it didn't touch me. It didn't touch you either? No, it didn't touch me. What'd you like? I've got my ankle, I've got to put on a pillow. <laughs> Kathy is... I lost her sleep. She was sleeping. I was happy to get some rest from wheeling her around. That's just, that <laughs> get rude, rude. <laughs>